financial aid is not just for students it's for everyone okay so uh uh let me really describe the financial aid what it's really about so uh the financial aid really came about that people actually need support when coming especially the international guests okay that we had the hello guys welcome to people tech if today is your first time here please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the notification icon below so today on the state of the tech industry i have with me francis billa he is the chairperson for python africa uh, python ghana 2022 we'll be discussing the importance of programming communities here in ghana i'm privileged to have you here francis. thank you copy tech thank you uh, please and don't forget stay tuned to the ending of the video i have some amazing uh, applications that is job opportunities for you that you need to apply to there is it's very important big 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 opportunity so so today i want us to discuss the importance of uh, tech communities in ghana especially this icon communities I, I hear of java user communities and i hear of react too what are the importance of it like why should someone join those communities Okay, so I think I'll speak from this perspective that I've actually pioneered uh, two communities, that the Java that you mentioned okay. and also uh, the Python community, uh, particularly in Cape Coast. Uh, so uh, particularly uh, the essence of uh, someone joining these communities, and I'll first mention uh, the fact of creating connection for yourself uh, in uh, the, tech the tech industry, industry because uh, if you try to do everything on your own, it's very really, it's really difficult to really get people who are passionate like you and people to really help you and mentor you. Okay. By co the community provides this sense of essence of uh, belongingness where you can get people to really support you and create opportunities for you when they get opportunities. Because the community is, a, is like a family, okay? okay? It's like a family. Even talking about Python Ghana, it's like a, we are a family whereby we create opportunities and connection for people. So apart from uh, the connection that you get, you get people who are like-minded like you to really work on projects together. So uh, even with Python Ghana, we have some projects that we work on together. So we have our design team, okay. whereby they are into the designing of our, uh, our web uh, website. And also we currently, uh, in Cape Coast, they were even planning of doing some projects for the students and those things, which also into Python. Like doing projects for the students as in their final year projects? Or it's, it's, not, it's not a final year project. It's, we call them community projects. So. Uh, it's, so it was an actual problem that uh, someone found it was during a discussion in uh, their WhatsApp group okay. that someone found that uh, this is a problem that I've forgotten the actual problem, which is existing in the university. Okay. So why they as developers, they don't come together and passionate with uh, Python so that they can do something with Python and really help the student. So it's not for a final year project, but it's for the community. Okay, so they are just doing freely for the students. So that's something that we are doing. Okay, so you, uh, from your talk, uh, you only mentioned uh, uh, like creating connections for yourself. Mm -hmm. As if someone is a beginner who joined those kind of communities, mm -hmm. what are some of the advantages the person will get from those communities? Is the person going to be taught the programming language that mm -hmm. he has joined the, the, the community or he will just create connections and learn on his own? Oh, no. So, um, so the communities, we do want to also organize uh, tutorials, okay, and boot camps. So recently, uh, the Python user group we organized uh, the, with our initiative PyData. Pi data, organized a data science uh, bootcamp. That was a three month data science bootcamp uh, which happened in Accra at Saint Table. Is it free? Uh, it was free. It was actually free. So uh, it was just a form which uh, you fill the form, then uh, with some short essay to really uh, like see how the interest of people. Because we, you pick people and you, you realize that they will just come about two weeks and that's all, they really don't come again because these are very expensive bootcamp that we organize. We are paying uh, tutors to come and teach. We are paying for venues. We are also, uh, for the venue, we actually didn't pay Ten Table sponsor it, thanks okay. to Ten Table. Uh, so they sponsor it. Uh, so apart from even the venue, we are paying for your feeding that when they come, we provide them lunch. Oh wow, yes. free lunch. Free lunch, the yes. Next time when 
oh, organizing those programs. <laughs> you definitely agree. Yeah, so that's one importance of the community that we have all these things available. That even you can talk about the upcoming PyCon, okay? That the upcoming PyCon, we have our sessions whereby we introduce people to open source. Okay. There's newbies to open source. So people who know nothing about open source can be introduced to open source. We have Django Girls also happens at the uh, upcoming PyCon whereby uh, ladies who are who want to learn web development can come and learn web development for free of charge. Is it pertaining to Python or other languages? Okay, so uh, because it's PyCon, so Python conference is pertaining to py- Python. Okay, so when you join a, sp- a specific community, it means you only be taught things uh, around that programming language, not outside. The programming uh, uh, it's not that particularly you only be taught things outside the programming language. So it depends on what um, they are doing. So there may be many things that com- the communities are doing. But if you are joining a community, for me, I'll tell you that join as many communities as you can. Okay. So there are many communities in Ghana, uh, starting from, I'll start from my favorite, that's the Python user group, okay? Then I'll go to the Dev Congress, uh, which is the, my second favorite in Ghana. I'll go to Developers in Vogue, which is also my third favorite, because they've organized meetups that I've joined. I'll go to the Ghana Data Science, uh, uh, is it the Incubus? Uh, I, I really want to figure their name very well. They're also into data science, of which they are very good. We have the women in data science also there. They are also very good. Uh, we have the Google Developers Group also there. We have the Microsoft guys also there. Um, yeah, there are many. Yeah, there are many. Uh, we have the Java User Group. We have the AWS uh, for the Amazon. Uh, yeah, yeah, who want to do Amazon I heard, stuff? Uh, even Alibaba is coming in mm-hmm. uh, you can just imagine you can just imagine so the tech user groups uh, uh they are plenty in ghana the tech communities are many in ghana so you choose uh, just look at the initiatives and uh their aspiration and where they are going and you see whether it fits what you want then you join it so what are some of the opportunities someone looking for those kind of uh, groups but the opportunities if i can get the question again what are some of the opportunities when i join a group maybe let me because you are from PyCon, let mm. me choose PyCon for example what are some of the opportunities i'll get when i attend those kind of programs like the PyCon africa coming on right now i'm a student are paying about 90 cities to attend that program so if the student pay 90 cities to attend that program what are some of the opportunities you will gain from okay apart from free food uh i can mention that uh the one i mentioned earlier like creating connections okay and also learning new tools okay in the programming language uh even tomorrow uh i'll be attending a program uh paystack is organizing uh just a hangout in ghana well there will be free food uh so tech people we really like food, Every so. free food, food yeah. <laughs> yes. i want to be there <laughs> exactly and i think one thing that people really love pycon is also about the food yeah okay. because our food are very nice yeah so apart from that um and also learning new stuff meeting new people and uh more like also uh there will be like uh tech companies there to also recruit that you can also get experience on tech companies you can also talk to these tech recruiters whether you be those students whether you'll be able to do internship with them and these stuff okay Okay. so there are many opportunities out there uh, that you this communities will provide you as you can hear for yourself please find one and join talking about that uh this uh pycon African just, uh, PyCon Ghana just released a notice that they are financing students in the first aid or something like that. Is it mm. money that they give to them to go to school? Okay, that is actually the financial aid support. Okay, the financial aid is not just for students, it's for everyone. Okay. So uh, uh, let me really describe the financial aid, what it's really about. So uh, the financial aid really came about that people actually need support when coming, especially the international guests, okay, that we had, uh, for instance, in uh, 2018, where we organized our PyCon Ghana, the first one, uh, we have people coming from Nigeria, Botswana, South Africa, and the rest, even people came from India. Yeah. So some of these people love to come to Ghana to join us. Uh, you know, we are helping to really like diversify technology and the Python programming language. So we need all these people to come together and people in Ghana can socialize with them and really learn their foreign things. So when they are coming, uh, they, some people need support with their plane tickets, accommodation and these things. So this financial aid uh, are supposed to provide these stuff for them that will give them support concerning their plane tickets 
uh, when they come with their CV, we take care of their CV, their accommodation and everything. So it's actually a pitch. So it depends on how you pitch yourself. So if you're in Ghana, then you can pitch yourself that the reason why you need financial support or financial aid. You tell us the reason why you need it and why you can't really uh, like provide for yourself and we need to provide for you. Then we will definitely be glad to provide for you. Is it throughout the year or when you are? Is, uh, because I always saw this after the, uh, you announced that the Picon Africa will be Picon Ghana will be coming on. Is it? You, do you normally do it after the uh, before the Picon uh, Ghana or is something that runs throughout the year? It's, it's just for the Picon. So okay. every Picon there's a financial aid. Okay. Every Picon is, uh, it's something usual that the Python Software Foundation we normally do that there's a financial aid that we give to really support people who really need help to come. So uh, when the Python uh, when the conference is done, we are done with financial aid. We are not going to provide anybody with financial aid. Oh. Just so we just for the conference. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's very <really> nice, but <laughs> I think uh, I thought like something that runs throughout the year, so that if students have uh, maybe project proposal that they mm. need like maybe some finances towards to uh, them uh, okay so i get you but our doors are always open that maybe if you need uh like proposal and those things you can write to us you can write to us if you can help we will definitely help you and it's a reasonable project that we want to come on board to support you or we provide because we as a community we also have uh, as i told you connection people are available who are also willing to really help okay so we can even give you avenue of getting connection connected to these people to really help you with what you're doing okay. 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 that's really nice that's really nice so talking about those communities here are they ma- that much here in ghana or there the communities are many even uh i think when i was in uh turntable uh i was passionate about i was just doing some stuff about ews so i was passionate about creating a community for ews okay. so i started creating the creation of a community then i realized that there was a community for ews in ghana okay. so <laughs> someone can just look at one maybe one programming language let me say something like go mm-hmm. which i don't think they have any community here in ghana, so i bet I... you there's a community in ghana wow <laughs> yes okay so i can just one someone can just maybe stand up and say oh, okay Maybe this pro- I love this programming language, so I just want to create a community around it for people to join and learn more. Of oh, it it's not that have some to seek permission before. Yeah, it's not that you can just start up and just create a community. So um, there, are, every community is having more like um, uh, where they heal their let me say all their responsibility or all their. Uh, where is, is the source okay? okay like we know that aws uh the people in charge is amazon okay. so if you want to create something like that you need the license for it so you need okay. to go to amazon like we python Ghana, we had the license for the python software foundation popular okay. known as the psf okay. okay the same thing applies to the java user group okay. so that held from the oracle okay community so if you go to uh i think uh um, let me say individual or personal initiative like dev congress that's why i know that maybe a group of people came together and decided to create something of this sort mm-hmm. but if you want to create a pertaining to a programming language or a particular tool that is always there you need to really contact uh some the organization before you can create it oh, okay okay well understood i thought you can just gather like no one, two, three of us, then we gather them inside. No, yeah, no, no. Just, just, just do the right thing. Yeah, just do the right thing because before you had a conflict of interest, maybe with someone. Because as you're also deciding, maybe let's say for instance, you are deciding to form something like the Golang community, yeah. and someone will also may be having Golang community already existing. Okay. Then we are having two Golang Accra community. Just imagine okay. how would it be? Okay. 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 So you have. Let me. Uh, so. Uh, these communities like Python for instance, they have Python Ghana and they have Python. Do they have something like Python Accra, like how uh, you mentioned that Python user group uh, keep post? Do they have something like that? Okay, so uh, the Python uh, user group Ghana uh, are, are having, we have actually many branches, okay, so uh, so it's a tree, so let me explain to you all. So it's a tree and this is how it is. So you have the Python user group, okay. okay where in ghana python user group in ghana okay and the python user group in ghana are having initiative under it so the initiative we have is their pie ladies okay, okay. then we have their pie club 
we have the pi, pi the pi ladies is for ladies our okay. initiative for ladies pi club is initiative for universities okay. we have our pi kiss for senior high schools and uh junior okay. high schools and even kindergarten we have that one through there uh we also have pi scholars yeah i think that one is for the kindergarten students okay, okay. Yeah, so that is also there. Then we have the Pi data for data science. Oh. Yeah, we have those ones there. So those are initiatives. And then we have our various user groups. So the user groups in uh, various regions oh. that we have some in Cape Coast, some in Accra, some in Kumase, Wa, we have some in Wa and Tamale too. So that's how our we've been structured. So how, how can one form a user group in a region? Okay, if you want to form a user group in the region, you can just write to us or you can contact us that you are interested in forming a user group in the region. So you first check if there's no user group in the region. If there's a user group in the region, we will make you, we will get to know, we will understand that here, yeah, you have the passion for it and you want to contribute to the community. So we will link you up with a person who is already in charge of the user group in that region. Then you help the person out, okay, or maybe there's something special that they will let you do, then we let you do it. Apart from that, if there is nothing, uh, if there is no user group in that community, we will just help you and advise you and even even give you financial support in creating the user. Uh, how do one join those uh, communities? Okay, if you want to join the community, so we have our communities, our channel available on um, Telegram. Okay, okay, that you can just search for the Python Ghana community. You will okay. just see it then you join. I'm part of that. You are part of it. Yeah. Thank God, <laughs> because I was just going to charge you for not being part. Okay, so or uh, you can also uh, currently with we have our mail group. Okay, that you can also join our mail group. So if you create an account with uh, the, uh, if you go to uh, pythonghana.org, okay, you will get every details about us. Thank you very much. I want to ask you. So, what is the impact of uh, the community groups on the Ghana society? How will you rate it? Yeah, so um, we are really making impacts in the societies, uh, starting from really getting more people into tech because our, our passion is to really drive more people, the enthusiasm for more people into tech. So uh, even some part of us, we are uh, into even contact with the government, some government organizations in really pushing more people into tech. So, uh, and apart from really pushing more people into tech, we also look at some things in the country that really need improvement, uh, like that we can really contribute to Ghana as a whole, and then we help to contribute too. So there are many things that uh, we are doing. And Okay, so I can also mention that we're also creating jobs for people okay. in the country, yeah. which is also reducing the stress of the economy. Okay, unemployment. Yeah. Unemployment, so okay. we are doing well okay thank you very much i would like to share some job opportunities with you as i said in my previous videos Tentable is still employing fresh graduates from school you can apply i'll leave the link under the description python africa uh, python ghana is ongoing you can as you heard you've read a lot from him he is the chairperson for PyCon ghana 2022 PyCon africa 2022 rather so it's Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. Icon Ghana 2022. Africa is not yet. Okay. Yeah, you come to Africa soon. Icon Ghana 2022. So you can also apply and be part of that community. You will learn a lot. So this company is also employing back-end engineers. That is Finance Mobile. You can I will leave that link to under the description. You can apply. They are also applying for Flutter developers. I don't know of none. If you are a Flutter developer and you are good, you can apply for one. Another company is employing females in engineering if you're a female this is opportunity you can also what, apply and get this job ivy belly as we all know from microsoft she's also she has also announced that microsoft is applying uh, recruiting fresh graduates from the university if you're in university and you're in your final year this is the opportunity for you to apply she'll be hosting a resume uh, space on twitter on 20th i'll leave all those links under the description please apply and be one this is the opportunity. Don't say that there is no work in Ghana. There, there are a lot of works ongoing. You can apply and get one. And there is another company employing for internships. I will leave the companies and their names under the description for you to what, apply and be part of this tech community. Software engineering is the next thing for the future. And tech is taking over the world. So be part of this initiative. That is your last word for our audience. Oh, my last word is um, actually find a community and join the community because you will learn more from the community and 
I really want to see more people at the upcoming PyCon, uh, which is happening from 13th to uh, 15th of October. And uh, there are a lot of things that people will learn from it. So, location? Uh, it's happening. Uh, currently, our current it's a proposed location. Okay. So our current location is the Kofiana Institute of uh, Technology, okay. yeah, which is at Ridge. Yeah, okay. That's our, our proposed location at the moment. Thank you very much. Uh, your social media handles and that of. Um... I, I'm I'm very active on uh, LinkedIn and uh, Twitter. So Twitter just Francis Bila, Francis underscore Bila, and uh, on LinkedIn Francis Bila you can find me. And uh, for our Python, uh, we have a various uh, handle uh, which is really distributed across. So you can join our Telegram. You can just search for Python Ghana on Telegram, then join us. You can also look on LinkedIn, uh, search for Python Ghana. You can also you join us there. We also have uh, our IG page, that's Instagram. Okay. So you can join us through Instagram Python Ghana, Twitter to the same thing Python Ghana, Facebook Python Ghana. Thank you very much. This has been another amazing episode. Thank you, Justice. Thank you for coming. Please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the notification icon and stay tuned for the next. Peace.